Hi and welcome to our channel. We are so excited here today because we just inherited a very large bookshelf that is going to be just for our Catholic books. So today we're going to be sorting and organizing, even purging some of the books in our Catholic home library, seeing what we have, figuring out what's staying and what's going. So let's get started. So this gigantic, wonderful bookshelf came to us from my parents who recently downsized over the summer and they moved, so this one needed a new home. And we needed a new shelf for Catholic books, so it was a win-win. Yeah, we spent a lot of time here looking for books. We're always saying, I've seen it somewhere. I've seen it on a shelf, but we never can find it. So to save time and energy, we are hoping to get all of our adult Catholic books on this one shelf. So we've pulled all or almost all of our Catholic books from around the house and sorted them into different categories to put on the shelves. And we have decided that each stuff will be for a different set of books. So we've broken down the categories into the to be read shelf. Also a shelf for our history and Catholic church history and reference books. Another shelf for saints and classics. One shelf just for our favorites. And then a shelf for our vintage books and any overflow books that are left over. And then we have also this pile. <laughs> and this is the pile of books that we're not quite sure if we want to keep or not. So some of the books on this pile, we could really use help deciding stay or go. If you as the viewers know anything about these certain books, I'll let you know which ones they are. Please weigh in in the comments. Okay, I think we're ready to start reshelving the books now. And then after that, we'll show you just a couple of favorites from each shelf. So one on our to be read pile is this older vintage novel about Ruth from the Book of Ruth that looks really intriguing. It was a thrift store find for 25 cents, so we definitely want to read this one. And the other one on our shelf, which we actually forgot about, forgot that we had it, is Holy Simplicity, which takes a look at the lives of Mother Teresa, Dorothy Day, and St. Therese of Lisieux. So this one looks really good. We love Father Donald Calloway's books, and this one, 26 Champions of the Rosary, is definitely so inspiring. We love to go back and reread it periodically. And the other book is From Slave to Priest, which is the story of Father Augustine Talton. He was one of the first black Catholic priests in America, and we absolutely love his story. This book is so good, and if you haven't read it, definitely do. I'd have this one for a catechism in a year coming up with Father Mike in January, but our Bibles are not on this shelf because we use them every day, so they're not going to sit on a shelf. And then another favorite down here is The Faith Explained by Father Leo Treese. It's a really great, easy to read reference book about the Catholic faith. And of course, we found our first set of duplicate books, The Case for Jesus by Brant Petrie. One of the reasons that we're doing this organization is to weed out duplicate copies. So I think we will only be keeping one. So this one, Saintly Support, was one of the very first books about the lives of the saints that we ever bought. And it's really a great little book. It's got lots of information and really beautiful pictures as well.
Models of Family Life is by Joan Carol Cruz. You know I love her books. This one is Lay Saints, and there are some really crazy stories in this book. It's really good. I'm debating on whether or not we want to have a dedicated shelf space just for Joan Carol Cruz. I think we might go that way, so we've left some room on this shelf just for that. Okay, so we are having trouble rounding up all of our vintage books. We do have more than this. I'm not sure where they are, but anyway. Melody in Your Hearts is a wonderful book. It is an interview done with different nuns in the 1950s and 1960s talking about why they decided to pursue a religious life vocation. And you would think, oh, a book about nuns, uh, but it is so good. It is so joyful. It is laugh out loud, funny in places. We just really love this one. And we also decided we're going to keep some of our Naki Kelly books down on this shelf. And this one right here, The Biggest Lie in the History of Christianity, is a really good one. We definitely recommend it. Okay, so this is definitely a work in progress, but we are going to deal with some of the books from our purge pile first. Books that we may or may not keep. This book, The Life of St. Joseph. I just don't know what to think about this book. If you have ever read it, let me know in the comments. It is the private revelation about the life of St. Joseph to a Benedictine nun. And I felt really uncomfortable reading it. I mean, just some of the details. I'm just really on the fence about this one. So if you know anything about it, again, let me know in the comments. And then we do have some that are kind of falling apart, like this one, <laughs> that one. There are pages falling out of this one. They look good, but they're just not in very great shape. This one isn't too bad. Yeah. It has a little bit of water damage, so we're, you know, this could be really good though. Remember, Hildegard was from our September <laughs> cookie, the Cookies of Joy, so uh, yeah. we get to know more about her. Okay, then we found that we have duplicate copies of the books that Father Casey Cole has written. He has a YouTube channel called Breaking in the Habit, and he wrote these books. I have read them, and they were good. I enjoyed them. I'm not really sure that I'm going to read them again ever, so what should I do? Should I keep them? Maybe Kate would like to read them. Maybe. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Not too Okay, so all you Father Cole fans out there, what should I do? Should I keep these or should I donate them maybe to our Catholic library at church and maybe people there could enjoy them? Then we have another book that's falling apart. This little book, um, Christ is Passing By, Homilies by Jose Maria Escriva, which is like the only book about him, by him that we have. So we're hesitant to get rid of it, but... And it's his homilies, so yeah. it could be really good. It is a very sad little copy, so maybe we'll just try to replace that. I don't know. Then I have a few Catholic mom books that were really great. Um, the Handbook for Catholic Moms and Graced and Gifted by Kimberly Hahn. I feel like these are more geared maybe towards moms with younger kids. And we're trying to decide, should we keep these or let them go to a happy home? And then we have Saints Who Saw Hell, which was in our spooky Catholic books video. This one was good, but it was freaky. <laughs> like, it's too scary ugh, to keep It's a house. scary book. It, it's just like, are we ever going to reread this again? Yeah, that's the thing. A great reference book, all the details about hell, but I don't know if I am uh, for a How second often trip. How do we through? want to brush up on the details of hell here? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so what would you do? Would you keep this one or not? And then the last one we wanted to just mention out of the stack is this book, Heroic Habits, uh, Discovering the Soul's Potential for Greatness, which sounds like every other book that was ever written, right? <laughs> and we tried to read it for school, but we did not get far. No, it was a it did not did, work. Yeah, it was a did not finish. We thought it was the style was a little bit dry. It's heavily centered on Thomas Aquinas and philosophy. We thought we would give it a second chance, but we just haven't quite gotten there. Mm -hmm. So we haven't yeah, come back around for a second. Yeah. Pass. So again, do we need to keep it, or could we donate it to our um, Catholic library at church? Maybe someone there would like to read it. So obviously this is a work in progress, but we've made good progress. We're gonna keep going through the house and rounding up more books. And if we get it more complete, we will put some pictures on the screen for you. 
and let us know if you would like a more in-depth bookshelf tour of all the shelves showing you exactly what's on there and then again let us know about those stay or go books that we're so uncertain about yeah saint joe said stay or go i mean I, I can't even believe i'm having to ask that question so i would love to hear your thoughts and then before we end today we almost forgot but we were going to announce the giveaway winner for our last giveaway for the rosary card from our happy little catholic things for fall video so let's do that now, Kate. Let me put it. Yeah. We were totally prepared to do this today. We're on it. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're getting ready to do the drawing for our rosary card giveaway. This one is stainless steel. It has a Hail Mary in Latin on the front and then the Hail Mary in English on the back. So who will be our lucky winner? Oh, we'll see. Kate's Shake going up the mug. Shake up the mug. If you left us a comment, you're in the mug. Yeah. Okay, so let's see who the lucky winner is. All right, we have Arlene Curry. Okay. You are our winner. Arlene. All right, so go ahead and send us an email. We have our email linked in the description box. Give us your address and we'll get it in the mail for you. Okay, so now that is really it. <laughs> We're done. Yeah, so we hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.